What's up guys, and welcome back to Lazy Couch Thoughts. In case you missed it, there was yet another baseball scandal, and I gotta be honest, I'm pretty happy baseball's back because these scandals make the Lazy Couch Thought job just so much easier. Like this just makes my life and job just so much easier, just having a new scandal to talk about, you know, three days a week. So Sunday night baseball game, uh, it's Phillies and the Braves. Alec Baum ties up, I mean, tags up from third on a sack fly to left, very short sack fly. It was actually the shortest tag up that the Phillies have done from third base going home since that cast started tracking such thing. I think it was 2015, it was about 230 feet. So it's a very shallow fly ball. Obviously, Marcelo Zuna maybe not be the greatest defender, uh, but I feel like any major league player should be able to, you know, throw somebody out from 230 feet. Anyways, so we threw him out and Alec was out, but they caught him safe. Like, mm, okay, like he just never touched the plate. Yeah, so from there we saw like five or so different like replays, different angles, and everything was like, yeah, he's out. He just didn't touch the plate. What are we talking about here? And they sent it to review, and everybody's like, oh, okay, this is gonna get corrected, right? Because it's a review, like it's to correct the umpires. Like, yeah, totally, he's out. And then he come out and call him safe, and the Braves lose the game because of this. Now. Obviously, it's a, you know, ninth, tenth game of the season or whatever. It's not necessarily, like, a big game. But, like, dude, we got to get this under control. What's the point of replay if we're not going to correct very clear and very obvious mistakes? After the game, they asked him. He was like, hey, what do you think of the play? And he was like, I don't know. They called me safe. That's, that's all I can do. And he was kind of, like, smirking. He was like, yeah, I was out. I never touched the plate. Every replay showed it. I knew live I didn't touch the plate. But you dummies just didn't correct it. You know why they didn't correct it? Because this is the problem. There's umpires and former umpires that sit up in New York in the replay booth and they will never, ever, 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 if an umpire is on top of the, the play like that, they will not correct it. Because they don't wanna go against their fellow umpire. They don't wanna go against their, say, hey, you know what? That guy, he was on top of the play. What he saw was right. Like he, he just saw it right. Like that's, that's the right call. No, that's not the point of replay, dude. The point of replay is to get the correct call. I don't care if you mess up the call in the field. In fact, I would rather you call him safe right there and say, you know what? He would have been safe if he did touch the plate. I can't really tell. Call it safe. Replay. You have my back. You either go call it out, call it safe, get the right call. You know what I mean? Like there's certain plays, like, like in football, you let the play go. And then from there, like if somebody fumbles and it's kind of close, like you just let the play go. And at the end, you go back and you do the replay. And it's like, oh no, it was actually incomplete. And it was like, all right, no harm, no foul. Like just, it's okay to correct the umpires. It's okay to make a mistake, you're human. But what's not okay is to not correct the mistake because your pride or your ego, or you're looking out for fellow man or umpire that just doesn't allow you. Like, what is that? What's the point of replay if it's not gonna correct clear and obvious calls? There's a call in the Red Sox game on Sunday. This one was bang, bang, like that. It was, I, I'm a Red Sox fan. I still don't know if he was out or safe. Called him out on the field, they stuck with it. You know what, I'm cool with that. Stay with the call on the field. If, it, if, it's, if you cannot overturn it, if it's not clear and obvious, but guess what, if it is clear and obvious, you have to overturn it. It doesn't matter who it benefits. It doesn't matter if it hurts the umpire's feelings or reputation or anything like that, but we're still all human. It's a bang, bang, like, like that. Like if it's the amount of a difference of a millisecond, it's okay for you as a human being to not be able to slow down time that much for yourself to be able to see, you know, tag plate. Because you really are looking at two separate things. You're looking at two separate things. So it's okay. It's okay to make a mistake, but it's not okay to not correct these mistakes when they come up. Look at the Michael Conforto play from last week. I talked about it uh, on, I think, Friday. Michael Conforto, Conforto leans, his, leans his elbow into the strike zone, gets hit by a pitch, walk off, win for the Mets. Then you go look and you see, oh wait, that ball was actually a strike. He actually leaned into the strike zone. And you look at the replay and the umpire struck him out and then said, oh wait, no, 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 hit by pitch. Well, the rule is if you get hit by a pitch in the strike zone or if you swing, then it's a strike. So he'd been out, but the umpire just didn't call it that. And then for some reason, there's also no replay on that. Which I guess, you know, you don't really need a replay for balls and strikes. That's uh, it's pushing it a little bit. But in this instance, you can replay, hey, yeah, he leaned into the pitch that was over the, the plate. That seems like a fair thing to replay, especially when it comes down to a walk-off win. Now, that's the type of thing that probably happen once every 10, 15 years or something like that. But when it does happen, it's needed. It's the same thing as the pass interference challenge stuff with the Saints. 
that play, it's only happened, you know, a few times where, like, you, you could really use it. But instead, they implemented it, used it all the time, stuff like that. But anyways, umpires, guys, it's okay to make a mistake. It's not okay to not correct them. MLB, we got to be better. We have to be better. After the amazing game last night, you have your superstars, Freddie Freeman, Ronald Acuna Jr. I mean, even Ozzie Alsby's got in the mix. You got Bryce Harper going deep, Reese Hoskins. Like, you had all kinds of home runs. You had all kinds of excitement. You have Acuna just lighting it up, like, doing, like, spin the, like, spin around and like twirling and like jumping up and down like going down the baseline like going viral on every social media like and then the game ends like that you can't have the game in like that and you know what honestly like that game is headed for extras and with the new extra inning rules it would have been pretty exciting to see those teams just keep going back and forth they might have played all night anyways guys hope you liked the video if you did like and subscribe for more content like this mlb get your stuff together and i'll see you guys on wednesday peace